Hi, in this video I would like to show you how to perform object segmentation. We loaded our project where we earlier defined a pixel classifier between product and foreign objects. We can directly click on decisions and apply the model saved in our project and we can see that for each pixel we get a decision on background, product or foreign object. To define objects, uh, we can switch to the Objects tab on the right side and we need to flag uh, some of the classes as foreground. So we can select Product class and set it as foreground or simply press F to toggle the foreground flag. And then we can click on the Objects button on the toolbar. What will happen is that connected components of the class product uh, are segmented out and are uh, displayed with different colors. If we move over, we can see in the status bar that this object is object number one and this object is object code three. These are object labels. Uh, you see that we can also view object decisions and that means that for each connected component we are showing which class it is coming from. You may ask, why is that interesting? Well, because we can, of course, flag objects of different classes simultaneously and we can segment them at the same time. So we can see object labels or object decisions on any image. If you look uh, in this uh, image, you can see that there are many small tiny speckles and islands and in the objects view we don't actually see them. That is uh, because our um, segmenter is using uh, the concept of minimum object size and I think smaller than in this case 50 pixels is discarded. We can of course lower this setting. If we have um, one pixel here, it means that every tiny speckle is segmented out separately. But we can use uh, this setting to set up a um, reasonable um, threshold uh, that will only give us uh, objects large enough that we can act upon with our actuators in our sorting problem. What we can also do here is uh, to display uh, a list of objects Um, and that gives us in the output window an overview of all segmented out objects and for each of them we can see its uh, centroid, its size in pixels, its bounding box and its eventual class. So these, uh, this information is actually uh, the same as what per class mirror runtime is uh, capable of providing on the live data stream to your application. And that can be used for sorting. So you can actually drive your actuator for the specific position. And you also know the size and the bounding box for some extra reasoning. So what we have seen in this uh, example uh, is um, doing object segmentation for the use case where each object is composed of a single material. That's basically a detection sorting use case. And we will uh, handle another use case with complex objects in a separate uh, video. Thank you for your attention.